We are now going to begin the ACA training, and the ACA stands for Adobe Certified Associate. Remember, that is the testing that we're going to be doing in May. So in May, you're going to be taking a test. If you pass the test, you'll be certified in Adobe Photoshop. So, and don't worry, if you failed the test, you get to take it three times, but even if you take it three times and fail it, it's not going to count against you. What will count against you is all the lessons that lead up to that test. So, that's now. On Friday, what you should have done is you should have signed up for the curriculum here. If you click on this, this gives you all of the steps that you need, including the link in order to take it, and the access code is here. If you need help, you can go ahead and ask one of your neighbors. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go back to photography. Now, that's step one. Step two is going to be today. So today we're going to take the pre-assessment test. So what's a pre-assessment test? A pre-assessment test is just to see what you know. Again, it says right here, what you may know or do not know in the session one curriculum. That's the beginning of the curriculum. So that's all it is. You will not be graded for this. As you can see right there, you're going to get full points just for taking the pre-assessment. So do not cheat. There is no reason to, okay? Again, it's simply to see what you know before taking the test. And you can see here that I expect the average score is going to be somewhere around 65%, and that's okay. I don't mind. Um, because you're going to be learning all of this stuff in the pre-assessment. Okay, so where do we take this pre-assessment? Where do we get to the Gmetrics website? I go ahead and go back here to Photography. And I've added a folder here called Resources. And in the Resource folder, you're going to see there's a link, and that's to ACA Gmetrics. Gmetrics is the website that you sign up for. Let's click on that. And that takes us here, but it's in Schoology, and I don't want to be in Schoology. So I'm going to hit the pop out tab here, and that's going to put it into a new tab. So go ahead and sign up just the way you, um, when you signed in for, or sorry, when you uh, registered for Gmetrics. I'm going to click the sign in here. And here you should probably only see Photoshop, Learn Key. Mine says resume because I've already kind of started some stuff. Yours may say start, but once you start, it will say resume. So I'm going to click on this. Now you have three sessions. Session one, two, and three are going to take a few months. It's actually going to take us until we actually take the test. So we're going to start with session one. Now this is going to take about a week or two. And once we finish with session one, we're going to go and get back into photography. You'll be taking pictures, doing some Photoshop lessons. Then we'll get back to session two, vice versa, session three, and then we'll take the test. So let's go ahead and open session one. And session one consists of four different subjects here. So you can see we have the pre-assessment. That's what you're doing today. The training, that's what you'll do when you finish the pre-assessment. Exercise labs will come soon. And then finally, the post-assessment is going to be the final thing we do when we finish. Now remember, the pre-assessment, this is what you're going to take. I'm going to click on it. It is 60 minutes, there are 34 questions, and you get one attempt. Now, if you look here, um, it's going to tell you how much you've completed, and when you're finished, it's going to be full, and it's going to tell you whether you passed or failed. It's going to be red if you got the answers wrong. Now, don't worry, once again, um, it's not going to count against you. What will count against you is this, the post-assessment. Once we've finished all the training in the labs, then your post-assessment you're going to take, and once you start that and finish it, the score that you get here will be the score that you get in your power teacher or your, your sorry, your um, student power school. So, how do we begin this pre-assessment? Start here, take the quiz. Don't worry, you'll get full credit just for taking it. Then we're going to go ahead and go to session one training. Let's see what now, this one is. Now, one things I'll show you. Remember, this is a, a digital neg. Okay. You can see here it's just a series of videos here. Now there are a lot of videos, but don't worry. As I said already, um, each video is really short. And when you get through each video, I'm going to have something to help you kind of work on this. And in order to not have to take notes or not have to remember everything, I have something for you. Let's go ahead and go back to Schoology. Let's get out of this. Okay, so that's the pre-assessment and then the session one fill-in. This is where you watch the videos. So this is part three. It says you finish the pre-assessment. You do this here. You go to session one, Photoshop session one training, which is here. Session one, Photoshop CC session one training. That's going to open up the videos. So what do you do now? Before you watch the videos, make sure you download the PDF attached below. That's here. Let me click on that. So it's going to open down here. But what I'd like you to do is do not open it here if you open it in Chrome. 
let's go ahead and open it from our downloads folder. So here it is right here. And if I double click, it's going to open up. Or if it doesn't show up in Acrobat, I'd like you guys to do is right click, open with, choose Acrobat from the list. Or if it's not there, you can go to other applications and then look for Adobe Acrobat. The reason why is because Acrobat opens PDFs and does a very good job at it. So this is what we're looking for. Go ahead and make this smaller. Okay. So this is session one presented by Learn Key, and you can see this is fill in the blanks. So there are two pages and 30 questions that you're just gonna have to fill in the blanks. Pretty simple. So what you do is you watch the videos, enter to Photoshop CC. Let's take a look over here. We have our learning portal. Let's go to session one training and look now, at that. One of the things I'll show Intro you. to Photoshop CC. Hi, my name is Chad Chilius. So these videos are probably going to be from these two very short videos. Look at this one's 20 seconds long. Not bad. Let's go ahead and go back. And I want to go to actually this here. So once you understand this and you hear what he says, project requirements include the so it's going to say something. So whatever this is, blah, blah. I'm going to go ahead and type in blah, blah. And there's my answer. We'll go on to the next thing. Easy. Once I'm finished, I'm going to go ahead and go and save this. I'm going to save as. And what I'd like you guys to do is choose a different folder. And I'd like you guys to make sure we always save in the same spot, right? So where are we saving? Our documents. Then you should have a photography folder. Or you can go ahead and save in the server. Just want to make sure that you're saving in the same spot. You can save in the server in your doc in your server folder as well, in your student folder. Okay. Um, go ahead and make a new folder and call it ACA videos. Try to keep your workspace clean. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and save it there. And what do you do when you're finished? When you're completely done with all 30 questions, do your final save. And then guess what you do? You upload it here. So you're going to see an upload or a submit folder here. Click on that. Go to the upload button, just like when you upload all of your photos, and then you're going to go ahead and upload this final finished workbook. If you have any questions, um, I'll be there on Wednesday, so you can go and ask me then. Otherwise, this should be fairly simple, and you're probably not going to finish in one day. It's probably going to take you a couple of days, but that's all right. Okay, good luck.